it's Betsy from Cut and Corners Vinyl in Nederland, Texas, and today we have a fun project for you. I'm going to show you how to put Oracal 651, which is a permanent professional grade adhesive, onto this adorable red heart tin that came from Target. It was $3 in the Target bullseye spot, and I just used scraps of black Oracal and white Oracal 651 gloss. Isn't that adorable? Now, if you are a $10 or more a month patron, you do get this file for free uh, on our Patreon page, and this would make an adorable item to sell. You can fill it up with chocolates or cookies or whatever else. It's just simply adorable. Now, remember on our website this week for our weekly wow sale, our Oracle 651 is on sale from $2.50 for a 12 by 24 inch sheet to $1.75. So, it's now's a good time to stock up on your favorite colors. Now, if you'll give me a moment to change the camera angle, I will show you how we put this together. Okie dokie. So today we're gonna do that, the Valentine's heart tin that I purchased at Target for $3. So the first thing that you're gonna need to do is go to my Patreon page, which is www.patreon.com backslash Betsy Gocher. Now the link to Patreon is in the description box and I'm gonna scroll down to the Valentine heart tin and I'm going to click on that red link and this is available for my $10 or more a month Patreon supporters. So we're gonna go ahead and click save, and then I'm gonna go ahead and open it so you can see. So one of the things you'll notice is whenever you open it, you don't see the white letters. That's because it's white on a white background. But if we go down here to Cricut Design, to Cricut Design Space and click Upload, then we're gonna to go to Upload Image, Browse, that's going to bring us to our downloads folder and we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom because that should be where our newest downloads are and i'm going to select the tin can heart and select open now i'm going to select save there we go click insert image now you can see everything Okay, now what I want to go ahead and do is ungroup this file, and I want to select the white your, and then we want to select the white than a box, and select weld. There we go. Now I want to select both lines of text that are in white, and we're going to go ahead and weld that together. And then we're going to go ahead and select chocolates, weld, of, weld, and sweeter. There we go. And click weld. Now all three pieces of the black, I want to go ahead and weld together. There we go. And the design is roughly what is the size of this about 4.8 so almost five inches wide by almost four inches tall now the box is seven inches wide at the widest point and it is six inches tall from the bottom of the heart so we want it to be big but we don't want it to overpower the tin so now we're going to go ahead and select make it now, because we're cutting this in Oracal 651, we don't need to mirror it. So we're going to go ahead and click continue. There we go. Give it a minute. And we're going to select regular vinyl. Now we're going to go ahead and send this to cut. Now, if you'll give me a moment to change the camera angle, I will go over everything we just did. Okie dokie. So as you can see, I have my tin heart laid out right here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is move it out of the way so I can weed the black. I did weed the white off of camera. And if you're interested in the pick that I'm using or any of the vinyl, it is available on our website. And the Oracle 651, which is the permanent adhesive vinyl that I'm using, is on sale this week for our weekly wow sale. So it is down from $2.50 for a 12 by 24 inch sheet to $1.75. So it's a good deal. 
makes it a whole lot easier on your budget. Okay, so everything is now weeded. Look how cute that looks. So now what I wanna go ahead and do is take my paper towel and grab my denatured alcohol, but any type of alcohol will work. This is just what I use because I've been in the sign industry so long. So there we go. So we're gonna go ahead and measure out kind of where we're wanting things just to kind of get a good look. There we go. Okay, so chocolates is going to pretty much be right at the edge of the heart. So we're gonna take our transfer tape, which again is available on my website. Now remember, you don't have to purchase from us, but you can if you want to. So this tin was $3 from Target, and this would make an adorable craft to resell. And you can fill it up like if you do a certain special kind of sweet or anything like that would be absolutely adorable. Let's go ahead and squeegee that. Now, as you can see, my paper is still stuck to my letters, but that is not as difficult to remove. There we go. Okay, so now what we need to go ahead and do is take our pick. And again, the reason why the paper is sticking like this is because I have a fresh blade and it takes a while to go and use a blade enough where it doesn't do this. And you can change your settings, but I find that removing the paper really isn't that difficult unless you're working with teeny tiny letters like I've done in the past whenever we did our mailbox. But always double check the back of your design like this just to be on the safe side because I have seen people get very frustrated with the paper sticking and not realizing that it's there and wondering why their vinyl isn't sticking. So always, always, always double check. That is a good tip and hint I can recommend to you. Okay, so as you can see, all that is off. Now I'm going to lay out my letters on my tin heart squeegee it down there we go look how cute that looks now we're gonna go ahead and mask over our white layer squeegee it down and again we'll probably have to remove some paper which will be a little bit more difficult on the white. Actually, no paper stuck on that one. Okay. So now to line that up, you want to bring it close enough. There we go. That looks good. Because, and it may be hard to tell on camera, but this transfer tape you can see through. And you can put any design on here that you want to. This is just what I wanted to do. There we go. Look how quick and easy that was to do. And one of the great things about this is this is one of those projects that you can easily use your leftover vinyl on. Now, if you'll give me a moment to change the camera angle, I will go over everything we just did. 
So hopefully you like this video. Now remember, tomorrow we do a live at five video, so that's a live Q&A. And I'm not sure if I'm going to record a separate video for the regular scrap box drawing or if I'll include it in that. But be sure to look out for both of those in case I do record a separate video. And you still have time to enter in. So if you comment on the January 2020 Patreon and regular scrap box drawing video, that will enter you in for a chance to win the regular scrap box which is amazing. If you've ever won a scrap box, and people will tell you, the amount of material in there is just crazy. There's HTV, there's sticker, there's a little bit of everything. But don't forget to check me out on all my social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. But I guess that's it, so we'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.